Hello, welcome to Sound and Fury Book Reviews. As usual, I am Tina. Today I'm doing a book review of South by Baba Klikomi. This is a contemporary fiction. It comes out September 12, 2023 from Rare Machines from Dunder and Press. So I received this arc from NetGalley in exchange for a fair review. A claustrophobic dystopian novel about entrapment, control, and loss of self. South is a great novel to pick up if you really liked 1984. <laughs> what is it about? B, a journalist, travels to the south of an unnamed desert country for a mysterious mission to write a report about the recent strikes of an offshore oil rig. From the beginning of his trip, he is faced with a cruel and broken landscape of drought and decay, superstitious believers of evil winds and spirits, and corrupt entities focused on manipulation and censorship. As he tries to defend himself against his unknown enemies, we learn about his father's disappearance, his fading love with his wife, and his encounter with an unknown woman. A puzzle-like novel about totalitarianism, surveillance, alienation, and guilt that questions the forces that control us. This novel is one of those that while you're reading it, you know there is a deeper meaning. You think you know what the novel's trying to say, but just like B, the main character, you are so distracted by what is happening in the real time that the bigger picture, picture is lost until the end. But I think this is the point. It's mimetic in the sense that we're just as lost and confused and frustrated and then horrified as B is by what happens to him. It's clearly a dystopia, but we're not sure where the novel takes place. The South is just the South of a country. We're not sure what country it is, which is what makes the story so compelling. Rather than a direct commentary on a specific place, the novel is showing how what happened to B could happen to anyone. Now, is B a particularly likable person? <laughs> no, he's not. He's a cheater. He's kind of lazy. He wallows and doesn't do anything to help himself. Yet I wonder if that is kind of the point. Had he been someone we loved and cared for, the story would have been about one man's struggle, not about the injustices carried out by a totalitarian state. Rather than be, make B a martyr, the novel makes him a casualty. The horror of the book isn't that this is happening to him, but that it could happen, as I said before, to anybody. Now, I will say the novel does get a bit dry and bleak at times, and though it is short, it does feel somewhat long. <laughs> While I thought it was well written and interesting, at times I was confused as to who certain people were or what was going on. While I bet some of that was intentional, it doesn't make for an enjoyable read in the sense of following the plot. <laughs> But if you like commentary about corporate deception, the surveillance state, and totalitarianism, you probably will enjoy this. But if you want something more straightforward and heroic, I'm not sure it's for you. But I also don't think it's a book meant to be enjoyed, per se. It's trying to say something. <laughs> In truth, I thought the book was excellent, but it's very bleak, and I thought B was kind of annoying. <laughs> Either way, thank you again to the publisher. This story was something that I was not expecting when I picked it up. So, awesome. 